Hello friends, my name is Paresh and you're watching Tech Dynamics. In this video, we are going to discuss how you can work with hierarchical data in Dynamics 365, also known as self-referential data. So keep watching and stay tuned. Now, if you want to create a relationship between same entities, then it's hierarchical relationship or in other words, it's called self-referential relationship. For example, in account entity, we have an option to select parent account, which looks up to the same accounts entity. This is called hierarchical entity relationship. Now this is available to all the system and custom entities. However, you need to note that each custom entity can only have one self-referential relationship and not more than one. So after mapping, you can view visualization to see a tree structure, which helps you to understand how these records are related to each other. Now to understand this concept, um, in Dynamics 365, we have taken several accounts. For example, Adventure Works has a parent account called ADATEM. Also the Alpine Ski House account has a parent account called ADATEM. Whereas best or sales account has a parent account called Alpine Ski House. So this is the hierarchical structure uh, that we will try to uh, see in Dynamics 365. So let's just go over there. All right. So here we are in our Dynamics 365 environment. Let's just click on the accounts. Let's just go to Adventure Works and select the record over here. And in this account record, you will see that there's a field called parent account. What it does is um, over here, we have specified a datum. Now this looks up to the same account entity where you can select a parent record. So if we click on a datum, you will notice that this also is an account in the account entity. Similarly, we have taken other account records and specified some parent records and created a hierarchy as we discussed in one of the slides before. So to see the visualization, uh, what what we can do is click on the view hierarchy button over here. Now this button is only available for those records where the self referential record is available. So let's just click on view hierarchy. So over here you can see or you can visualize the hierarchical structure that we have created. So you can click on here on the left hand side and see that adventure works is related to a datum. Alpine Ski House is also related to a datum and the best of sales is related to Alpine Ski House. You can see it more profoundly on the right hand side where you can see a detailed structure of how these records are connected. Now, apart from accounts, there are other system entities available where you can specify a parent record like users where you have uh, something called as managers, which you have to specify for a user and a manager can also be a user in the system. So that is also again an example. You can also create your own custom entities with uh, self-referential lookups that is the lookup to the same entity itself however you can only specify one field uh, at a time for an entity so i hope you understand how a self-referential or a hierarchical record is created in dynamics 365. to understand this further let's go to the solutions click on entities and click on accounts and over here you can go to one to end relationship or end to one relationship it doesn't matter and you can open the relationship over here that you can see that the related entity is account uh, type of behavior is parental and the field name is parental account if you double click on this now you will notice the properties that the primary entity is account and the related entity is also account so this is a hierarchical or a self-referential relationship and further you can find the relationship behavior which is parental and the cascading rules associated with that now apart from that you can go to hierarchical settings over here and you will find that there is one a hierarchical setting and there can only be one hierarchical setting at a time that that's the reason why we do not have an option to create a new one because there is already one available if there is no um, setting available over here then you will find an option to create one and only one so if you open this over here you can see the properties of the hierarchical settings where the name is account hierarchy and the default quick view form is selected over here or you can create a new one and the hierarchical relationship is specified automatically 
So this is how you can create the hierarchical structure. And if you want to see how we can create that, we can go to one of our um, custom entities over here and we can go to hotel reservations and we can go to hierarchical settings and over here you can see that there is no setting available that's why we have an option to create a new one and let's just say um, parent booking in the default quick view form let's just select a new form over here and click on save so over here you can see that there is no hierarchical relationship available now for that i need to mark a relationship as enable so if i click over here you will notice that there is no relationship available as of now so what we need to do is first create a relationship and then mark that as enable so let's just close this for now save and close and Let's just go to a uh, one to end relationship or end to one relationship that does not matter. And then we can click on a new one to many mappings. And over here, the primary entity is hotel reservation. Let's just select um, this, uh, the related entity also as hotel reservation. And then let's just check the display name as booking. And then the type of behavior as parental and then click save and close all right so now we have created a self-referential relationship now we need to go back to the hierarchical settings open the settings over here and click on mark a relationship as enabled and now we can see the self-referential relationship over here so click on this and mark hierarchical and click on ok so once that is done we can click on save and close and let's just go to the forms again and include the parent booking field and over here you can see that the parent booking field is now available so just click on that drag and drop it over here and click on save and close once that is once that is all done or you can go ahead and publish all customization for the changes to take effect now we can go back to our unified interface and click on hotel reservations over here now over here let's just create a new booking and give it a name let's just say second booking and give the custom name as a datum over here and choose the parent booking as the hotel booking that was already available and click on save so you can see that over here we have already created a referential uh, relationship over here and if you click on the hierarchy you will see the relationship which is available between those records so so we hope now you know how to create a self a referential relationship for a custom entity as well so why don't you go ahead and try it out for yourself bye bye